And this may very well have been something the Egyptians realized and that could have worked for them even if they didn't see light and sound as different as we do. Hence their understanding of sound vibration could very well have given them a practical understanding of electromagnetism and quantum phenomena almost by default and with no need for an electron microscope or other space age equipment. Instead, they employed the nearly limitless power of imagination, consistent modeling, and logical thinking, faculties that we still rely on 5,000 years plus later. Thus, we can see, almost step by step, how their own theories of quantum mechanics and particle physics could have been developed over centuries. The original premise being the stratification of object sizes and the realization that all objects, no matter how large, or how small, are made up of even smaller objects.